Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we re-enter the realm of chaos because I'm trying to get five wins on a couple people, and we're going to start with Mr. Alias here because you just have to be in my face. Plus, I could probably beat him. <laughs> the hero deck is the weakest one. The Neos one, that is. And this is the weakest one by far. This is the one I'd never really have to stress too much on. Now, our deck has gone through a nerd change, which might actually make it a little brickier, but let's just hope that doesn't happen. And I like my opening hand, funny enough. I'm going to summon this because I'm tired of getting killed by Nobleman. I'm going to set this, and I'm going to hope for the best. End turn. I was thinking about playing the field spell, but I didn't. Wild Heart. Funny enough, I have a card to stop you. Um, no, I'm, I want to die. <laughs> that sounds terrible out loud. I do not, but this this card I want to die. Goodbye, Flying County Gary. And now I'm going to summon a monster even stronger than Wild Heart. Harpy Lady 1. Alright, Camp Carry did its job getting me my Harpy Lady card. Field spell. Okay, good. My field spell has value. I'm going to draw a Hysteric Party. Nice top deck. I only own one of those. I'm going to activate my Harpy's Hunting Ground. And in order to benefit from it, I'm going to activate Elegant Egotist in order to get my strongest, second strongest card, my Harpy Lady Sisters. My strongest is Harvey's Pet Dragon. And with this card, we're going to easily destroy the opponent's trap. Hopefully it was a good one. Birthright? Eh, that's good for Alias, I guess. Uh, we get to normal summon Sand Gang, because why not? And then all of my guys are going to work together to beat up the opponent. So, let's go. Mr. Harpy, Man or Harpy Lady is going to destroy you. I'm afraid you didn't stand a chance. Harpy Lady Sisters is super powerful at 2450. Getting a buff from her friend Harpy Lady 1 and getting a buff from the field spell. And Sangan's just chilling. He's a nice little thousand. He'll get under Messenger of Peace, and I appreciate that. So, what's the play, buddy? You're in a little bit of trouble here. That doesn't stop. Well, I guess it's annoying for sisters. That's true. That's true. I don't want you ru ruining my sisters. That's not right. Uh, let's just change the battle position. You you go away. I could do this to get rid of Sangan, but... No. <laughs> no, I disagree. I was hoping to draw a Harpy Lady card, but I did not. So let's get rid of Grand Mole forever, because that card's very annoying. Again, I should have. I should have done it. I'm going to attack for 2450. And that trap is bait, so we didn't have to worry in the first place. And we got way too much damage showing, so there's no way they survived the Harpy Lady Onslaught. And the Harpy Lady Onslaught wins us the duel on turn 5, which is a fast victory. I wonder if I get anything for summoning Harpy Lady Sisters. Probably not. It's too easy to do. Yep. That was a victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for my fifth victory on you. I'm kind of fighting just the Neospace people right now. Anyone that's in this Neospace area. Just because I feel like they're not nearly as in, they're not nearly as consistently good, except maybe the evil hero guy, as say the horse deck or the cyber dragon deck. Those decks I could easily drop a game on, and the evil hero deck. But I still want to beat these people. Ooh, giant germ, Harpy Lady one. I have my pop already, but he's already drawing himself some new cards, and he already has Stratos. Yep, it was guaranteed. And Stratos is going to equal even more. You seem to like getting Dogma. And I appreciate that, because Plasma's busted. Okay, well, Dogma's probably gone, yep. And what are we getting this time? Diamond Dude, maybe? Oh, no, you just want a good monster in general. Yep, that happens sometimes. Now, obviously, I can't beat Stratos. And my Field Spell, I happen to draw two of, which is not a good situation to be in for this. But I could use Phoenix Wind Blast now and not have to worry about what I'm getting rid of. So we're going to set this, and we're going to end our turn, and we're going to think about how to come back from this. Okay, they had another Destiny Hero just top-decked, Fearmonger. DD Warrior Lady is here. She is a problem. But I don't know if she's worth 4,000 problem. Let's say no. I don't think she's worth 4,000. Let's just get our germs ready to go. I highly doubt I'll need both of them. 
I only need one of them to survive. Just to give me some time to think. No need, just let it happen. So with my current abilities, I could get rid of Stratos, but that would end up giving my opponent Stratos la later to get more monsters, which is not good. My opponent has lots of back rows, so without Elegant Egotist, it's not worth it. Ah, I knew that would happen eventually. It happened very early, but it happens. Yeah, you'd never want to draw that card. I just drew it. Well, I could still do this just because I'm going to get my Harpy Lady removed from play. And I might as well try to break that back row. We got some back row we need to break, after all. God, we're not trying to stop this from happening. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to assume I hit something decent. And I am going to go on in there. Sorry about this, Harpy Lady. I didn't want to do this to you, I promise. But we're removing you from play, because you end up buffing the Stratos. Everyone just happens to have a wind monster for some reason. What is up with that? <laughs> What's going on here? That ain't supposed to happen, ain't right? Alright, so now we have our Phoenix Wind Blast. If I really, really need to, I don't want to. I'm hoping for a Tribute Summon. That'd be great for me. That I can live with. If they go for uh, Exile Force's effect, I'm happy with that. They're not going to. But anything I draw could beat it in battle. Literally, I don't think I have a single monster that can't beat that in battle, so... I just need to make sure I draw a monster that is not my Harpy's Pet Dragon. Any other monster's okay. Just not Harpy's Pet Dragon. I knew the deck would get a little brickier the second I pulled another Harpy... I, I pulled Harpy Lay Sisters, but oh boy. Okay, this card could beat it. And this card can match the opponent, so let's just be happy with that. Getting rid of this monster for free feels good. They wasted it, honestly. And let's just make sure that back row never becomes a problem. Royal Decree, that would have sucked for me, because all I have is back row. There's nothing I can currently use, so let's get rid of you. I'm at 2,000 attacks, so I can beat Stratos, but I cannot allow Exile Force to live. And now that I have field advantage, I just need to wait and see what happens. Creature swap play is coming. A creature swap play is coming. This guy was never summoned, I'm sorry. Even if they still go for the creature swap play, I could stop it. Oh shit, yeah, that still works. They still hit the grave, technically. Okay, I can no longer stop it, I've misplayed hard. I've realized my mistake. Oh, wait, this works. This works just fine. Alright, this is gonna hurt a little bit for them because Plasma can eat the token, and I admit that's a problem. But I did save a trap card for such a situation. And let's do it. Get him out of here. You could redraw that, buddy. Well, I'm glad that's not going to be my issue anymore. I draw. Oh, god damn it! That's the one thing I didn't want to draw. Oh, oh my god. The, literally the two... I only run two... I got rid of Swift Birdman Joe. I only have two useless monsters in this deck because if you're going to run a fun Harpy Lady deck, you have to run it. And I drew them both. Okay. I need any monster card that has 1,400 or more. That, that is not that is not a funny... This is not a funny game. I don't know why the game thinks this is a funny joke, but this is not. We got Foolish Burial now, and if they get a second monster, I could lose. I lose. I lo I'm done. Oh my god, I'm done. I hated this duel. This duel, if something bad could happen, it, it did. Now, granted, I, I messed up with Soul and Judgment. 100%. It was terrible play. I don't know why I did it. But who the hell cares? We lose either way. All right. Who the hell cares? Just get me out of here. Give me a loss. Yeah, yeah, you overestimated me. I played horribly that duel. And it wasn't just that, but he also just got a good hand. Yeah, and I, I, and I got a bad hand. I legit got a bad one. You know, I don't think we beat Green Gadget yet, so I will duel the Green Gadget. It'll just feel good to beat him. Alright, can I go first, please? I need to go first. It's my only hope. Yay. I get to set up my field, thank God. Hopefully I can clean up some of these mistakes. 
Oh, I like this hand a lot. I really like this hand. Okay. I'm going to set this card, and I'm going to end my turn. Let's see what gadgets do against that. They're, you're, they're typically pretty weak, so I'm not worried if they... Yeah. I'm not worried about any of this. And they really like back row, which is why I, I'm going to probably go for the field spell. I just haven't decided whether or not I'm doing it yet. Kamikiri, funny enough, I'm going to keep you around because they will go for green gadget eventually. Or I can make sure that they're not really about special summons, yeah. Just keep this guy around. The green gadget will eventually show up. Okay, so I could kill that, that one back row card if I really wanted to. But I don't have to. Could just use queen for queen, but no. Let's go for this. This is fine. It'll thin out our deck. I was just curious if I was going to top deck the card anyway. If I topped at the card, I could just use Queen as a beater monster. Like most people would want to use her. Okay, well, there goes Dust Tornado. So, the card I was intending to destroy destroyed me. And that is fine. We'll go for a basic Twin Head, just because we don't know what they're running in that hand. If I see a Lightning Vortex, I'd be very upset with myself for summoning Cyber Harpy. I'm still sad I lost Harpy's Hunting Ground, but I do run two. So, if I get a another chance to get one, I'd go for it. Sadly, I only have one Harpy Queen. If this deck was perfect, I'd have three. But one Harpy Queen is all we can, we have. And I don't remember where I pulled it, so... Ain't no way I'm getting another one. Okay, well, there's that card. Luckily, they went after the wrong monster. Alright, so I have a lot of choices to make here. There's a lot of good cards I can summon. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a Harpy Lady. I was thinking Blade Fly, but I don't think I'm going to go that route. And more back row. Hooray. Okay, that makes me happy. Let's see what that back row does if I do this. That's about right. Let's see what happens if I do this. Unless it's TT, I'm feeling good. Oh, just a giant true nade bait. And now we go with this. And hopefully, there we go. Too bad I can't put them in attack mode. I totally would. These guys have 300 attack after all. So I would have 600 extra damage if I could put them in attack mode. But I feel like these three monsters are pretty strong. They're just not strong enough to end the duel. Damn it, I needed my tokens. Sadly, they must be in defense mode. The game demands it of them. I want to end this with a token. A fluff token victory. That'd be amazing. The only way that happens, though, is if they don't get a good card. Because I threw everything out there for this. They summon themselves, of course. I have Giant Trunade, so I pretty much feel like I have game. Because even if this guy's got a Mirror Force planned ahead... I can't win with Fluff Token anymore. The other one's not strong enough. Unless I top deck Blade Fly. If I top deck Blade Fly, I could totally do it. Ah, let's do that way then. I activate Giant Trunade. For the fun of it all, I'm going to summon my Harpy's Pet Dragon. So now I have all my Harpy cards together. Harpy Lady 1, Cyber Harpy Lady, Harpy's Pet Dragon. And we'll end it with the Ace Monster. Our boss card. Get in there. He doesn't get buffed by the field spell, so I do not care. 2,900 attack, Harpy's Pet Dragon does a damn good job, and knocks our opponents down. That is really nice. We beat the Green Gadget, heck yeah. We got money. I need money. Gaga ga, ga yeah, I don't know, man. Don't gaga ga, ga me, I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, everybody's here. Alias is the one I have the highest chance of winning against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heroes never run, but I'm going first, so I can run you over. Oh, shit. Oh, see, he's nice. He's probably the only nice person in Chaos. Alright. Ooh, Flying Kamikiri's a good start with two, three back row. Okay, too many back row cards, but still a great start. Uh, we'll hold on to Mirror Force, just in case. Creature swap Flying Kamikiri gets me excited. I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn there. 
I might even get myself an alias. I probably will not get Breaker, though. Alright, get yourself an alias. Nope, Stratos. That Stratos makes the most sense. That's fine. Oh, a card I can't stop with trap cards. Interesting. Oh! You dick. I lost God. God's been destroyed. Okay, fair enough. I'm okay with that. Flying Kamakiri, are you ready? Okay. Even though I do like the creature swap play, I don't know if I really want to use it on a wild heart. Although I guess it would be nice to have a monster that's immune to, uh... Yeah, it's traps. But, then again, I gotta get ready, because they have a Stratos in their hand. They just intentionally chose not to summon it. I'm still gonna go Flying Kamikiri. I have an idea. Because I do want that Wild Heart. That Trap Stopping guy, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these. We're gonna make sure that that card's not a threat. Ah! Oh, can't creature swap anymore. <coughs> but that's fine. We kept flying Camp Fury, which means we're good. And now it's all up to me to get through this giant row of cards. And I'll do it too. You could trust me on that one. I'll do it. Yeah, scapegoats is no fun. Very nice card to have, but it's no fun. So, my opponent's gonna get struck. Well, no, they really just wanna beat me up. Okay, fair enough. Sometimes people wanna beat you up, it happens. Nope, come after me. I'm ready. There we go. And now that I've been destroyed, let's get ourselves another monster. Just really thinning out our deck here. Uh, I think this time I'll go with Harpy Lady. And this time I will, not Mirror Force, but Magic Cylinder, just to get some burn down. There we go. Harpy Lady 1's ready to go. I'll top deck Flying Kamikiri the third. I didn't, but it, you guys would have freaked out if I did. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and destroy the Wild Heart, who's immune to my traps. I do not like that. Stratos should be coming next. I don't know why they've been holding back for so long. And then, after all of this, I'll have to think of something else, because I have nothing left to protect my Harpy Lady. And I have not been drawing any monster cards this entire duel. They can't summon Blade Edge, so I'm fine. That card would be a problem, though. Uh, you could bring back Wild Heart, but why? To get Blade Edge, maybe? Nope, you're just going to resummon yourself. Okay. I guess you understood no matter what I was going to have to Mirror Force, so... It's like they played knowing I had Mirror Force, which is weird. How did the AI possibly know that? All right, well, no matter what I do, that well, the Wild Heart won't come back if I kill it like this. That is a fact. This is a fact. All right, let's make sure the Wild Heart does not come back. Because even if I Giant Truna, they can just play it and use the effect. And then let's try to destroy all the opponent's monsters, because we know Stratos is coming and it might go after Harpy Lady, even though Harpy Lady is buffing him, which would suck for me, but it's... It's going to happen. At least now they don't have a special summon. Okay, what are we going to get this time? God damn it. I don't really have any traps left, but... Oh, they do have a special summon. I couldn't stop it. It's a lose-lose situation. Okay. Yikes, this is the first time I'm actually really struggling against this opponent. Okay, okay, I'll think of something. I still got two germs left. I could get uh, Harpy's Pet Dragon that way. For those of you curious why he could oversold that monster, it's a Gemini monster. <clears throat> they count as normal monsters. Unless you re unless you summon them again. <coughs> Sorry, losing my voice. Um, Creature Swap has no value here. If anything, I should at least try to get them to summon Blade Edge. So I need to bait Blade Edge out by putting these guys in defense mode. But I understand most likely Wild Heart will be summoned. That is the most likely thing to happen. Because they have to get through three monsters. So why even go for Blade Edge? But I had to get rid of that card so Preacher Swap had some value. 
Okay, no, they just gave me game, basically. Thank you. Oh, god damn it, never mind. Oh my god. Holy crap, this sucks. That is the second time they've done that, and I take a massive amount of damage this turn, which is fine. Okay, duel's not over yet. Let's think of a, a way out of this. How do I get Blade Edge? How do I get a Blade... How do I win? I draw a Lightning Vortex and just say, screw the screw creature swap. Okay, card that can help me in this current situation. A Morphing Jar is honestly what I'm looking at. I, I, I may not even make it to the Morphing Jar, but I, I need to. Just because Blade Edge does too much piercing. Alright, Bird Face doesn't help. Yep. Yep. What's the monster in their hand? They have Wild Heart in their hand, so I die. If I go for that play, I die. I need to have a monster advantage in order to win. Alright. Creature swap now. Set the Morphin Jar, knowing that Blade Edge might attack it. But, I'm pretty sure Wild Heart will attack it, not Blade Edge. And then the rest of this duel is up to luck, because I already lost my best stuff. That scapegoat did so much work for him. If it wasn't for scapegoats, I would have had this duel easily. Alright, 500 there. Now you're going to have to choose whether or not you're willing to attack your own alias. I'm going to try and get a new hand to save myself. That was not part of the plan. That was not part of the plan. Ah, crap, I do take the piercing. I'm fine, but I'm not living well. All right, well, at least I threw away Grand Mole and Alias. And I got Harpy's Hunting Ground, which popped the opponent's field spell. But I'm no longer strong enough to beat my opponent, unless I get, like, a bunch of elegant egotists, which I did not. Okay. Well, I can't let this play get messed up by my opponent's back row. So I might have to try and Trunade. Well, let's... Mm, yeah, just in case it's Magic here, I mean, you kind of have to. Okay, we're gonna Pot of Avarice. I need Elegant Egotist. There's three in my deck, and I haven't drawn a single one of them. Despite going through basically half my deck. Harpy Lady, um... You, you, you. I don't think I'll need another Kamakiri, but just in case, one more Kamakiri. <sighs> Could not get another one. Alright, I'm gonna just summon the Queen as she is my strongest beater monster. And she will threaten the opponent from doing anything. He lost Grand Mole, so I'm not worried about that. It's all up to luck on this one. I was really hoping to get more than one monster out, but I did not get Elegant Egotist. There's the Alias. That was expected. They're always gonna have an Alias. That is not fair. Okay. Every card in there... They have like four Revival cards. Holy crap. Unless the AI is so badly programmed. The only reason I didn't play my field spell is because their field spell would have collided it and destroyed it. But yeah, I lose because of... Well, I don't... I, they would have just played their field spell. If I played my field spell, they played their field spell to pop my field spell. So yeah, I, my, I went for Elegant Egotist. I couldn't get it. I tried. I tried my hardest. Okay, he, he fought hard. He earned that victory. Today was a very bad day for dueling. Ever since adding the sisters... Our consistency has gone down, and it's going to stay that way. Thank you, dude. At least we had a good duel. So, very bad pack buying day today, because we're not going to have much money. But we're going to take what we can get. Um, let's see. What cards do I want? Some of these. Some of these. I like this pack. Um, I like this pack. That's it. Okay. That's all I can get. So we just hope for the best from these packs. Let's see what we get. New, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. I already have that, sadly. All right, try again. Give me something good. No, no, no. Yes, kind of, no. All right, Zesty Hero Defender's all right. That's not terrible. Goblin Zombie, okay. There's another one of those. I have two of those now. All righty then. Let's see what else we can pull out. Dragon Newt's pretty good, actually. Oh, that Air Neos card's actually really good. Compared to all the Neos cards, that's the good one. 
swarm of scarabs and angel number seven. Oh, whoops. Got in all the same rares, basically. Yep, all the same rares. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, no progress. I'm going to go with no progress on that one. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.